Hey guys, it's Kimberly. We're gonna do the C collar demonstration. Got Diego here to be my patient. So anytime we use a C collar, we wanna make sure we measure up. Um, so to start off, let's walk through the C collar. So we have the collar here, you got some Velcro to kind of secure it all the way around, but we want to measure it up. So there's different sizes. Um, so there's no neck, there is short, regular, and tall. Okay, so the red dot here kind of indicates where it's at. So right now it's on the no neck, um, but there's the locking mechanism where if you just kind of put your index finger on one side and your thumb on the back, you can push forward to unlock or push down to lock. So I'm gonna unlock them and then I can kind of move this freely and pick what size. But to know what size, I'm going to first measure up my patient. So my patient, Diego here, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take my hand and I'm going to put it uh, resting right up by his neck. That's where this collar is going to sit. And what I wanna find out is how many fingers, I need another hand, get to get to the bottom of his chin right here. So four of my fingers looks a little too tall, so three looks about right, okay? So if we take fingers away from the bottom, I can't even bend my pinky like that, but then it doesn't really do us justice because we're not accurately measuring. So take your fingers away from the top, okay? So I have three fingers, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my fingers at the bottom of the blue. Um, this is foam, it bends, so make sure you're at the bottom of the blue like that, okay? And then it was three fingers. So the hole that is covered by my top finger right here, so it was three fingers, my middle finger, it's where we want our red dot to be. So Diego is a short neck. Um, so what I'm going to do is I already had it unlocked and I'm going to pull it so the red dot is in the short neck. And then don't forget to lock it in place. Okay. Um, and then since my patient is already sitting, I can just come around. He shouldn't be moving his head at all um, if he is a real patient. And I'm going to sit my patient's chin um, on the chin rest. And with my left hand, I kind of am pushing the collar in and I'm pulling this around so it's a snug fit like this, okay? And securing it with the Velcro, okay? Um, so your patient can still move his head. Do you kind of wiggle your head a bit? So if this is a patient that's fully um, responsive, even eight out times four, and we can safely, instead of holding C-spine um, the entire time, we can have them sit on our stretcher and just not move their head. Um, however, if this is a severe um, trauma and patient's unresponsive or intoxicated or distracting injuries, anything like that, that we decide we want to backboard the patient, then um, my partner is going to hold C-spine even with the collar on. So remember that we're holding C-spine um, before we put the collar on, and we're not putting the collar on until we assess the neck first. Um, but we're going to hold C-spine all the way up until we have the backboard and we secure the patient's head with the head straps, okay? Um, and then the last little thing is these yellow hooks right here on the collar. Um, you can put the nasal cannula there. These little clips right here. Um, but that's C collar. If you have any questions, thank you for being a great patient, Diego. <laughs> if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments. We're happy to help.